Hello Newcastle fans, TV and welcome to the second part of the preview where we're going to be looking at the whiteboard. As you can tell, I've obviously got Leeds behind us. Uh, should be a cracking game tomorrow night. Can't wait for a big fixture, big crowd, Friday night. And obviously everybody will be on the drink afterwards, no shadow of a doubt. So we're going to have a look at the wayside first. What I think that Gary Monk will go with if players are fit. So Rob Green, Aylin, Barkley, Janssen and Berardi. Now Charlie Taylor won't play there. I think he'll stick with Berardi. I think uh, Leon Brinkup will come in if he's fit because I know uh, he's been saying in his press comments that he's he kind of is 50-50. I think Calvin Phillips will stay there. Uh, Kamar Roof, Paulo Hernandez and I'm going to go for Ducora this time because yes, Ducora uh, did come on for Wood later on and play in a striker but he has put being pushed out wide and I think that Leeds will play, play this formation against us on the counter. Decora acting as kind of like a false striker on the on, on the left flank, tucking in. Obviously, this man, Chris Wood, we're going to start straight away. So, how are Leeds going to set up? So, this is how Leeds play. Very short passing. This is how this is how Leeds play. If you ever watch Gary Monk's team, they'll never hoof it long. They'll play short passing. So, that's the style that Leeds play. Also, what they also will do is they'll play the counter-attack. So what you might expect is Brickcut and Phillips to sit in front of the defence, which you would expect. And then Roof, if we make this the halfway line. So the likes of Roof, Hernandez and Decora, when they don't have the ball, will be amongst these positions. And when Leeds want a counter-attack, then you'll see them shooting forward in support of Chris Wood. Now you also consider, yes they're quite narrow but they also will go out wide as well so if it is Ducora, maybe it's Alfonso, they will also, the, the flexible are coming inwards and going outwards as well. That's the same with Kamar Roof if he, if, he's, if he played on the right flank which I'm expecting to and also coming in as well. So they do give you a few options. Pablo Hernandez, again he can alternate as well. You might find these might move positions. It's not necessarily as uh, Pablo Hernandez is going to stay there. He can move around. You know, he's in fine form at the moment. Of course, if you stop the service from these two and maybe the full-backs if they're bombing on, you stop Chris Wood from scoring. Now, Chris Wood's the top scorer in the Championship. Yes, Newcastle fans, he's played a lot more games than Dwight Gale, but he is a threat, you know. 24 goals this season. Fabulous, you know. Uh, he's found his level. New Zealander, can he kick it on in the Premier League? Who's going to take a chance on him if leads don't go up? Yep, so looking further back then, um, if they're playing on the counter, I don't expect Berardi or Aylin to get us forward as much as what they would do at home because they'll play the counter system. I'm very confident this is how Leeds will set up. This guy uh, made, obviously, championship player, championship team of the year, the EFL team of the year also. Set pieces, he's got three four goals. Keep an eye on him. Um, I think we can target this fella. Uh, Barkley because yes he's never made it in the Premier League but if we chuck a Mitrovic on Barkley I feel Newcastle or even Murphy perhaps but I feel Mitrovic is probably better suited for this game stick Mitrovic on Barkley I do think Barkley will struggle against Mitrovic Leeds fans use will probably disagree but this is a strength that I'm thinking of Newcastle looking at Newcastle how they can obviously attack if they're going to sit further up then you're going to have to ask yourself the question, you need a plan B if plan A isn't working. So speaking of plan A and plan B, let's head over and have a look at Newcastle. Okie dokie, so we've got Newcastle behind us, let's have a look at what I've went for then. Okay, so, Carl Darlon goal. Anita, I don't think Yedlin's ready yet. I do think, yes, I know some of you have been calling that Lascelles need rested or dropped. I think you'll go with Lascelles and then Bemba. I don't think you'll go with Hanley uh, because Mbemba's had the run-in of two games. I just don't think you'll drop Lascelles for, until we're promoted. Um, Paul Dummett will continue at left-back. I can't see any changes again until we're promoted. Hayden, I do think Isaac Hayden will come in the side because he's missed the last couple of games, but he is ready. Obviously, this is filmed after the press conference. So bear, obviously, if you've seen other news, obviously, this is filmed on Thursday, late on Thursday night, of course, so I don't know any injuries news updates. Shelby, I think Shelby will play this role again, but we'll come on to Shelby in a moment. I think they'll continue with Richie. You could swap Richie over here. That's another alternative. I think you will go with Diom in the number 10 because Perez was awful. Perez was a ghost against Sheffield Wednesday. Gufran, yes, Gufran had a disappointing game as well, but I think you will stick with him. And I do think you'll go with Mitro's on fire, Mitrovic up top as well. So, obviously, we've talked about Leeds, how they play the counter system. They play short passing. Uh, obviously, the high press as well, which I've forgotten to mention as well. So, how Newcastle normally play is, this is how Newcastle build up. So they normally give the ball to Shelby. And then what Shelby does, he spots Richie on the run. 
So this is one option that he does. And normally if that's Gale, he normally spots Gale. However, we haven't got that option this time around. So maybe this is one option that Shelby will do. You are expecting Vernon at a get forward, especially at home. So that will then again allow Richie to come inwards. So it gives Leeds problems, especially Aylin um, and um, Brody a lot of problems. Paul Dummett, I don't think you will know that Paul Dummett won't get as forward as such. So you'll also find Gufran will stay averaged in this position. You'll not see Gufran go on the left flank because how many times have you seen Gufran stay on the left and whip it in? Very, very rare you see that from Gufran. So you will not see that. So obviously Gufran will come inbound in this, this kind of averaging in this area. So that'll be Gufran. So that'll then open the question up. Where, how are you going to hurt Leeds if this doesn't pay off? Mirovic, because of the type of player, or even if it's Murphy, will hold the ball up. So he expects the ball a chest to feet downwards. So I'm expecting Shelby, Diame, Gufran even, even perhaps Richie. So if Mirovic is there and he holds the ball off, what he needs around him is people to run. So we need Gufran, bugger off, get on your bike. Richie does it automatically. I've got no problems with Matt Richie. He does it automatically because he, he spots Shelby. But Diame... Mo Diame, what are you going to do? If Mirovic holds the ball up, Diame, because I do think it will be Diame, Diame, don't just stand there. Get on your friggin' bike, man. Move. Get on your bike, Diame. Yes, this is how I had this how I line up, but Mirovic, how are you going to score? How are you going to get Mirovic uh, scoring goals? Well, since you've asked, Paul Dummett normally comes, say this is the halfway line. Maybe a bit wonky. So Paul Dunn, when he does get forward, normally tends to cross around around there. So it's not all the way down. And then what Dummett normally does is try and diagonal that in. You also, you also might find that Dummett might do this from the halfway line to somebody's feet as well. So Dummett will then whip the ball in. I don't think it'll be frequent on that side. That's why I'm thinking Vernon Nita will get forward. Vernon Nita, if you've noticed and you've watched Newcastle recently, and Nita, when he gets forward, in this kind of area... In, Nick, in this kind of area, what you'll find is that Nita will come here, Richie will be there, you play a pass to Richie, and then you normally see Nita bomb on, and then Richie normally gives it back, or vice versa. So that I've seen a lot of that on the right flank. So get the crosses in, Mirovic. You need to cross in. There's no point playing a big target man, even if it's Murphy, if you're not going to whip the balls in. So, other option that we've got then. If this doesn't work, if that doesn't work with Mirovic, we're seeing again Sheffield Wednesday that it was the John Joe Shelby show. So the other option, if plan A doesn't work, what I think this will be, what plan B going to be? Well, since you've asked, let's just swap this around. So let's just say it's later on the game, you know, and Rafa needs the goal, Newcastle are drawn or they're getting beat, however. What he might be able to do, even if it's three quarter, even if it's halfway through half time or halfway through half time, halfway through the first half, you could effectively bring Diome back into this position because he's played there the last two games, okay, and then give Shelby this role because for me, John Joe Shelby looks so much better and so much more involved on a plan B basis, by the way, because I think if Shelby is getting a lot of the ball in this area, let him be. Let him be because he'll make things happen. However, if plan A isn't working, you know, uh, well, I don't know why I crossed that out there. Get Shelby bombing on because Shelby will ping shots at Rob Green. We've seen Rob Green. He, he, Rob Green is prone to an error. I've seen that against St. Ellen Road. And then you can obviously play make with Mitterich as well. So we've got a few options there. These two, obviously, they're going to have to look after Chris Wood. They're going to have to talk to each other because I think a communication problem against Sheffield Wednesday was massively wrong. This guy is the leader. Let's say him command. You know, you go here, I'm, you go there, pick up there. We don't really see enough of it. Maybe I'm being a little bit disrespectful at last cells on the pitch, but for me, uh, I know that's a lot of scribbles on our, but uh, let us know what you think of that. Do you think Newcastle will set up like this? I know some of these will probably say, oh, go on, push Shelby forward, but will Rafa do that? You know, fan cams, obviously, I'll be there Friday night, of course, as well. Uh, so if you are new, come along. Uh, they're obviously on your screen now where we do that and also newbies uh, sorry the regulars obviously I expect is there of course as well uh, thank you very much for watching Newcastle Fans TV and hopefully promotion is not for not far long not for got not for long I'm getting my words mixed up tonight <laughs> it's three o'clock in the morning thanks for watching bye bye